Hey everyone, it's Caitlin. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you some at-home exercises that you can do to work your legs as well as your core. Uh, so starting off right now you can see that I'm doing a sumo squat, a weighted sumo squat. And so this is a progressive set that I am doing here. And so with this particular movement, um, I'm doing 15 reps and I'm holding 12 pound dumbbells in each hand. And then from there, I moved down to 12 reps, but I increased the weight. And so I increased the weight uh, to 15 pound dumbbells in each hand. Um, I was also singing, rocking out hard to music, as I'm sure you probably notice as I am saying some words that you cannot hear. Um, after the 12 pounds, I then lower the reps again. So I go from 12 reps to 8 reps and I increase the weight again and I bring that up to uh, 20 pounds in each hand. And so this allows me to get um, some more resistance in and really work the legs. It also really challenges your grip as well, especially in that hand position. It can be quite challenging. And then from those eight reps, I do another set of eight reps, but then I bring the weight down from 20 pounds to 15 pounds to really just work the muscles and wear them down. And uh, yeah, so you can see that it's super challenging, but it's really, really fun. <laughs> so from there, what you can also do is a lunge uh, progression. So what you would wanna do is do maybe about 15 reps um, 15 lunges on your leg or you can do you do it for a set period of time and then once you do your reps you bring your foot out a little bit wider and then you do a pulse and so you're going up and down for maybe about an inch and this let me tell you burns it hurts so much it truly burns um, and it's also also going to challenge your balance and stability so after your pulses you're just going to bring it down to a lunge hold and let me tell you, if you didn't feel it in those pulses, you are going to feel it here. It burns so much, but it is honestly so effective. So once you work your one leg, obviously you're going to have to work your other leg. So you're going to repeat the same movement. So starting with your, your lunge reps. And once you finish that, if you can keep your balance, <laughs> you're going to bring it down to your pulse. And so again, going up and down about an inch. And at this point, my legs were just so dead from working out and it's really, really challenging. And so once you do your pulses yet again, you are bringing it down to a hold. And you want a really good workout, I highly recommend this set here. No equipment necessary, just you, your body working it. And so from there, you can also do a lunge progression. So where you're doing a lunge, starting on your left, bringing it center and doing a um, squat, and then going to your other side for a lunge. So you can repeat this movement as many times as you'd like. You can also do a hip hinge or also a deadlift. So this one again is weighted and it's really going to work your glutes and it's also going to really, you know, Use, you're going to really need to use your core as well here. So it's a really great movement and in this set I'm not going to show all the reps, but I did a progressive set starting from 15 reps moving down to 8 from 15 pounds to 20 pounds to uh, 25 pounds and so this is a really great workout as well and From there, there's also some floor exercises that you can do uh, here you can do a um, plank side to side um, rotation. So essentially you're holding yourself in plank, then bringing yourself down onto your forearms, and then you're rotating your hips and so it barely or almost touches the floor on each side. And let me tell you, this is a really great and effective core exercise like you wouldn't believe. I love it and hate it all at the same time. From there, you can do some crunches with your legs up in the air. If you can get them straight, then perfect. I still have a bend in my legs, but uh, crunches are always a really great core exercise that you can do. And it can also be really challenging, so just make sure that you know you get through it. If you need to take a break, catch your breath, um, you know, do so. It's all, in, all a matter of doing it at your own pace and what you can do in that time. 
the next thing that you can also do is a um, bridge movement. If you wanted to increase the resistance and challenge yourself a little bit more, you can also put um, resistance bands on your legs. So really building up the resistance there as you try to hold your legs in proper form. So this <laughs> is a really great movement as well. Clearly I'm partying hard here to my music. Um, next thing you can do is mountain climbers on the floor. So here you want to make sure that you do keep your back flat and that your butt doesn't go up in the air. And uh, you can repeat these repetitions however many times that you, as you would like. And make sure that you stretch it out as well when you're done. So I highly recommend doing these moves um, as many times as you want. If you don't have a lot of time, you can obviously just do this as a quick five minute workout for yourself if you need to get something in. Another thing that you can do is some pull down crunches. Um, I have a pull up assist and so I use that because um, I don't go to the gym and I don't have a cable machine. So I do this as um, my pull down crunches. So you can do these moves in any way that you want. Again, like some of these are very friendly without weights. And I do highly recommend these exercises, especially if you're just getting started. Um, you can certainly, you know, do them without weights, especially when it comes to the squats. You don't need weights to get started. You simply just need yourself. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys. And I'll talk to you all later. Take care.